the Jakobshaven Glacier on the west coast of Greenland. It's a familiar destination, but it certainly looks different every year. Yesterday, Operation Ice Bridge returned to the glacier for the first time in 2013, repeating a high-priority mission they've now flown for five consecutive years, and collected another trove of valuable data and some great images. What's so special about Jakobshaven that keeps Ice Bridge and other researchers coming back? Well, it's one of the fastest moving glaciers in Greenland. It produces more icebergs than any other northern glacier. And over the past 150 years, it's been retreating dramatically. Studying how glaciers like Jakobshaven are changing from year to year helps scientists get a handle on both the movement of the ice on a local scale and ultimately how much these glaciers might contribute to sea level rise. While studying the upstream catchment area of the glacier, kind of like the drainage basin of a river, was the primary objective on yesterday's flight, making a pass over the calving front of the glacier is always a highlight of the mission, as we can see from this video taken last year. Here we see two views of the calving front from this year, with laser elevation data above and high resolution photographic data below. And here's a closer look at just how detailed that imagery is. Icebridge plans to be back at Jakobshaven next year. Past, present, and future Icebridge flights over regions like this one are aimed at building a continuous record of change in Earth's polar regions to bridge the gap between NASA's ISAT satellite and ISAT-2 scheduled for launch in 2016.